Welcome guys. In this video we will learn how to use trackbar from OpenCV in Python. If you do not know what is trackbar, it is basically a GUI element which allow us to select or change the value of any variable using a GUI interface while the program is running. So what we are going to do is that we will create a 3 channel BGR image using NumPy and then using 3 different trackbars we will change the pixel value of each channel and in this way we will be able to change the color of our image. So let's start writing the code. First of all I will import OpenCV module and then I will import NumPy module. Now I will create an image so I will write img equals to now the image which I want initially is completely black and the pixel value for black is 0. So here I will create a matrix of zeros. So I can write np dot zeros and then I will specify the size of our image let's set it to 450 comma 700 and the channel will be 3 and then I will define the data type as unsigned 8 bit integer and now I will create a window so to create a window I will write cv2 dot name window and then I will provide the name to window. Now using this window I will display the image. So here I will use while loop. The reason I am using while loop is because every time we will change the pixel value of our image using trackbar our image will be changed. So we need to keep calling the I'm show function in order to display the updated image. So here I can write cv2 dot I'm show and then I will provide the name of the window which is image and then the image and then I will use wait key function from OpenCV in order to give some waiting time and let's set the waiting time of 10 millisecond one more thing I can do is that I can store the written value of wait key in a variable and if I have to end the program for that I can write if k equals to or q then break so basically when we will press q while the program is running it will break the loop and the program will end now at the end i will use cv2.destroyAllWindows function and now if i run the program i get a completely black image so let's end this by pressing q now the next step is to create trackbars. So for that here I will write cv2.createTrackBar and then I will provide the name to the trackbar. So it will be blue for the blue channel. Then I will provide the name of that window where I want to add this trackbar which is image. And then I will give the minimum and the maximum value. For any pixel, the minimum value can be 0 and the maximum value can be 255. And then I will give the callback function which will be called every time when we will move the trackbar. So let's say it is blue. Now I need to create a function with name blue. And this will take one argument that is the trackbar value. And inside this function, I will set the pixel value according to the trackbar position. So here I will write img bracket colon colon and for blue channel the index is 0 and this will be equal to x and in the similar way I will create a trackbar for green channel. So here I will write cv2 dot create trackbar and this time I will give the name green to my trackbar and again the window will be image and the minimum value will be 0 and maximum will be 255 and this time callback function will be green and again I need to create a function with name green and 
here I will write IMG bracket colon comma colon and the index of green channel is 1. Similarly, I will create a trackbar for red channel and I will give the name red to this trackbar and again the window will remain same which is image. The minimum value will be 0 and maximum will be 255 and the callback function let's say it is red. And then I will create another function with name red. And inside this function, I will write img bracket colon comma colon and this time the index is 2. And this will be equals to x. Now if the code is fine, then it should work. So let's run it and see. You can see that we get a completely black image and at the bottom there are three track bars. Now in order to change the color, let's say I want to change the blue channel pixel. Here I will move the blue track bar and you can see the result. In a similar way, I can change the value of green and the red channel as well. So this is how track bar can change the value of any variable and in this way we can create any possible color. So that's all for now. Thanks for watching.